So this I've taken that pusher cover off. Now I've got to pull this out. There's something stopping it, and I think it's these gears. So at this stage I've decided to remove the halo gear and it does come out now because the flange has moved further out. This flange has moved out enough for me now to withdraw the shaft which I've done. The shaft will go in that box there. There's a small circlip here which I which I'd taken off. So that came out this way on the flange side. It's left a little bearing the other end. So now I can remove the, uh, the shifter, shifter fork. It's all a little bit tight in here. And it's come out. And that's it there. So that's come out. Uh, it's come out a little hole here in the um, in the other way. There. Come out a little hole in there. Shift the fork. That can go in there with that shaft. And this is the high low gear. Came off the shaft. And some instructions tell you you can take this little lever off, but unless I have to, I won't. It doesn't look like I need to. Now looking inside, I've now got to remove. I've got to slide the big gear along the shaft in order to remove the spindle, and it seems to be quite tight. It doesn't want to come out very easily. I'm going to force it. Maybe if I just give it a, a general tap on the end here with my hand, and it is coming out now. There's a little black spacer in there. Little black spacer. And a bit more of a tap. And that's it. Oh, now it's coming out quite easily. It's coming out quite easily now. If I now pull on it, there it comes. And a few things have fallen off, so I'll just put that there for now. And inside, you'll see the um, what's fallen in there, which is the big gear, the big gear, and a black ring. The black ring. He's on that side, that side there, which is the side of the large gear. The large gear is facing this end, and the small gear is facing this end. Remember the spindle came out this way. Okay. You can get the gear out if you put the shifter lever halfway. Not that way or that way. This will now come out through the back like that. And it's come out. It came out in that direction. And behind it is the plastic, little plastic spacer. Uh, came out that way, as far as I can tell. drawing. See the large gear, large gear, small gear, small gear and spindle flange there. Spindle flange there. Keyway. Okay. And that was there. And there's another one on the side here. 
So the way it came out, this is quite tight on this shaft. There's the keyway there. And it's going to line up with that keyway there. And this one came out of here. And it's got to line up with the keyway as well. Well, you can't see the keyway, so it doesn't matter. It just rotates. It just rotates. It's one bearing. It's going to be replaced with a bevel bearing. So that's how it was assembled inside the spindle box. I noticed in the drawing here they show a white spacer there, whereas mine has a black spacer. See the difference there? And on this this particular picture they've got a photo interrupter for the speed control. Mine doesn't have a speed uh, control or frequency speed readout on it. So it doesn't have a, uh, a disc there. Okay.